Quarter past six here on this Monday morning. Good morning to you. The United States has apparently maintained an official presence in South Africa since 1799 when an American consulate was opened in Cape Town. The U.S. Embassy is located in Pretoria and on the 16th of October, Patrick H. Gaspar presented his credentials to President Jacob Zuma as the new U.S. Ambassador to the Republic of South Africa. Now, we've invited him to the show to share his vision and thoughts about a country and coming out of uh, one of uh, a long time. So it's so good to see you. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. It's so great to be here, Leanne. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. I mean, this is quite historic for, for America and South Africa. You are the very first black U.S. ambassador to be representing America in South Africa. It was quite I'm, a momentous I'm, occasion. I'm, I'm actually not. You're not? I'm, no, I'm not. That's that, what my script says. No, That's not actually, right. Actually, no. The first, the first African-American ambassador to, yeah. to represent uh, the United States to South Africa was actually uh, under the Reagan administration. But uh, I'm... Uh, excited, nonetheless, that is uh, to, to still be here. Well, then I'm happy. This to, uh, then I'm even country. more happy to hear that because I was going to say, why did it take that long? Yeah. So good. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. But what, what is what are your views on South Africa? I mean, I know we've spoken. Yes. You saying you love South Africa. It's a beautiful country. But if we get away from the beauty of the country, well, now what else is it about South Africa? That well, you know, I have, I have a deep affinity uh, for this country. I was first here about 23 years ago. Uh, soon after Nelson Mandela had been released from Robben Island and before uh, he became uh, president of this country. So I was here in, this, in the period when uh, the citizens of this country were asking really profound questions about where you had been and where you were headed. Uh, and it was clear that there was uh, uh, experiments in democracy that the world would have to pay close attention to. And I'm pleased to come back uh, 20 years later uh, to see that many of the questions uh, have been resolved in a very affirmative uh, fashion. There are some remarkable challenges that still exist, but the people of this country have just a phenomenal uh, energy, uh, mm. and, and, uh, and, and I'm excited to be able to, to, to join in to, to help pave yeah. the way forward. How important is South Africa to America? And particularly, I mean, having, having the embassy here, having relations between the, the, the two countries. Yes, uh, South Africa is tremendously important uh, to America. It's important to the world. Uh, we, we all know that the fastest growing economies uh, in the world now are in the sub-Saharan region. Uh, and South Africa plays a critically uh, important role in trade in the region, in uh, uh, transparent democratic government here, security, stability. So this relationship is a, a tremendously important one, as evident by, the, uh, by President Obama's visit here about a month and a half ago. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about um, uh, what the U.S. has been through. And the U.S. now yes. is, is recovering following the 16-day partial government shutdown. Yeah. What is the sense in the U.S. right now? Well, the sense is that uh, everyone in the country, irrespective of what your political party, political stripe is, everyone has to come together and appreciate the impact that uh, policy in, in Capitol Hill has on the world economy. Uh, and we need to make certain that uh, we continue to um, uh, push forward uh, on uh, the fundamental social compact that exists in our country. Uh, and, I, and I suspect that um, the challenges uh, that we had are ones that are not uh, dissimilar yeah. to things that have taken place here in this country and elsewhere, so we can all learn from one another in these yeah. moments. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, that, that's a fact. Yeah, what pretty much so is your mandate, being here in South Africa? I mean, you obviously come here with, with a vision. What is it? Share it with us. Well, I think that uh, uh, President Obama uh, laid down what the vision is for the bilateral relationship moving forward. We know that we're coming out of a historic moment where uh, South Africa is poised to become the very first African country that will be administering its own HIV uh, AIDS program through uh, our uh, PEPFOR support. Uh, we're, we're going through that transition now. That's really important uh, for uh, my mission moving forward. And there are a number of things that we are doing to help not only on the healthcare front, uh, but also on uh, education as well and engaging civil society in, in this country uh, that I, I intend to really uh, double down on. Uh, if I could just say a little bit more about uh, uh, health care. Mm. I think that um, we all uh, need to, of course, appreciate that uh, this country uh, will prosper if the next generation, the, the uh, folks who were born after the end of apartheid, have a real uh, opportunity to take, uh, op uh, to take uh, advantage uh, of all of the new freedoms that exist in this country. You can't do that uh, without basic health care services and, of course, without uh, fundamental improvements in education. So I'm excited to be able to make a modest contribution on both fronts.
Well, it's been a pleasure having you here on Morning Live. Good luck. I'm sure this is not the last time we're going to be seeing you. I hope not. I hope not, too. It's been a pleasure having you. Um, joining us here on Studio Ambassador, uh, Gaspard, Patrick Gaspard, who is uh, now basically the uh, brand new ambassador. He's been here for five weeks from America, and uh, it's a pleasure having him here on Morning Live. Thanks for being our guest. Thank you.